Welcome back to Cairo Connect TV and this week we're going to be wrapping up our four part series on subluxation and this week we're talking about the three types of subluxation which are acute, chronic and permanent. Now subluxations are relentless, permanent damage and they're due to neglect. Best way to explain that is if, have you ever had a cavity? And if you ever had a cavity, how would you know you had the cavity? Was it because you were going to routine dental examinations and the dentist found out you had a cavity? Or was it because you waited so long that there was so much damage that you needed a root canal? I mean, why do people wait so long in, 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 to the point where they get, have to have a root canal to have their teeth fixed? Most likely because they haven't been getting their teeth checked regularly by their dentist. Well, in dentistry, a small cavity can be very easy to fix. A larger cavity might require a little more effort and may have a little more discomfort involved and probably cost a little more money. And then lastly, a root canal when there's so much damage and so much neglect that the tooth degenerates and is now affecting the nerve. That could be permanent. It could lead to loss of the tooth and loss of the nerve. Well, that's what happens in chiropractic. In chiropractic, you can have an acute subluxation, which is easy to fix or you can let it sit there for a longer period of time and it becomes chronic, which is more difficult to fix, probably costs more money and more time and much more uncomfortable. And lastly, there's permanent damage. When there's permanent damage, there's loss of bone degeneration and it's affecting the nerve and it may be permanent. Why would you wait so long that you would have permanent damage to your spine and nervous system? Your spine and nervous system are much more important than your teeth. Your teeth can be replaced, but not your spine and nerve system. So I'm happy that you understand the concept of neglect, and I hope you're not neglecting your spine and that you're getting your spine and nervous system checked regularly. And understanding the concept of neglect is very important. So now that you understand the concept of neglect, let me ask you another question. How long, when do you think you should wait to have your family checked? When should you wait to have your husband or your wife or your children checked for subluxation? Now when they're healthy or later on when there's so much damage and so much breakdown and neglect that it becomes permanent. I'm sure you know that now is the best time to have your family's spine and nervous system checked. Well, we're wrapping up our four part series and next week we're starting a new series on what is health on Cairo Connect TV and I'll see you there.